Hey guys, Christina O'Brien here from Art with an Aussie and I also have a Facebook page, Christina O'Brien Art, so yeah, go check that out. If you're interested in painting an Easter Bunny, a chocolate Easter Bunny, I call him Daddy and I call him Baby Bunny, uh, they're calorie free, they can be carob or whatever you eat, two Easter eggs, or three, or four, and in a grassy field, all made with acrylics. All the paints that I got for this painting were bought from Art and Soul Studio here in Harvey Bay. They are a wonderful, they're, they're a paradise. <laughs> I go in there and it's, I don't want to leave, ever, ever. So if you're ever in Harvey Bay, drop into Art and Soul Studio or I'll leave a link down below, maybe up, probably down, for Art and Soul Studio where you can order online. Okay, it's just me talking right now. I'm, I've am i found my old camera and so this first two clips here are from my old camera. So hopefully they work better because it's an actual video camera and I have it on my tripod. So I'm going to see how this works and if this is any better than my next video I'll make with this camera. So fingers crossed. Um, there's a couple of times in here where the fan is blowing on in this video where the fan is blowing into the camera and so it makes a little dzz noise so I apologize for that. I'm working this all out I'm trying to work, I figured out that sitting down gives you a better view so I just need to get the tripod a little higher over my big fat head so that you can see straight down and I'm also getting a um, I've got a palette cam so I'll be setting that one up and I intend on being more organized which is very hard for me but I will do it. Thanks for your patience guys. Hey guys, Christina here again. I have sap green and a flat brush size 20, it says on the thing, and the canvas that I'm using is a 12 by 16. Here I am trying to find what number is on there, and it is a size 20, but it's a it's a Montmartre flat brush, so I'm not quite sure what that, if that's, you know, they're all different anyway. I cover the whole canvas in the sap green, and I let it dry, and then I did it and then I do another layer. This is just to get the the whole thing covered, the, the, the ground, basically. Now I did actually talk while I was painting this, but there seems to be issues because I record on a um, Windows computer, uh, you know, uh, Microsoft, that's it. <laughs> I record on a Microsoft computer and I transfer it over to my Apple computer because I prefer iMovie and it messes with the voice so parts of the voice are a little bit messed up so I decided to do this voiceover so yeah Okay, I did another layer of sap green. Yep, it's dry. So now I am going to use, just for the, like the shadows in the background. Yeah, what is, what is green? Which is a darker green. And thinking about what brush I'm going to use, I'm going to use to use my armpit. I'm going to use this one. It's a crappy old one. One of the cheap ones you buy. It's just like that, like that, and it's a size ten. I like these cheap ones. They're um, they're good just for scumbling and things like that, which is what we're going to be doing, just scumbling in. 
some bushes that are in the background that you can't really see. But we have to do the very background before we can do one of the um, bunnies. I'm going to do, I've got some sap green on here. I don't know if you can see, I just mix the sap green with the hooker's green. And I'm just going to blend them in. I'll get some more sap green. Just blend in. It's going around and around and around in circles. Just keeping the tip of the brush on there. And it's just going to create all these different kinds of shadows instead of just the boring old green background. Which nobody ever wants a boring old green background. So I'm just getting some more for this green just a little bit. And just getting some sap green. Just mixing them together so that it goes darker, but it's not like a bam dark, it's just a gentle dark. Blended is the word I'm looking for. So I just got some sap green here because I want this bit here to be lighter. Still going around and around, around in circles. I'm holding it all the way down the bottom here. I don't know if you can tell. Like I'm holding a pencil. I don't know if that's the right thing to do or not, but I'm doing it. This is more hooker's green over here because I want this corner to be a little bit darker. And now getting some more sap green. I'm just mixing it in here. Just want to do a, a whole other layer of the green. Just doing this basically. We'll get some highlights in there soon. You see how the different colours already adding interest. So I might get some more sap green. Yeah. Just stuck my finger in sap green. This is Hooker's Green I'm using now. Wearing my paintbrush a little bit more. I'm drying it off a little bit. Just getting sap green. Ah, uh, Hooker's Green. Sorry. Just kind of making a blurry background for the grass because the focus is directly on the bunnies hugging. Uh, sap Green. I'm mixing it into where I just did the Hooker's Green. Just so it's blended. More hooker's green. Really unfortunate name, hooker's green. <laughs> I don't know if hooker means the same in other countries as it does here. But hooker isn't a, a great word here. You don't necessarily want to be called a hooker. We have a real estate agent here called LJ Hooker. And when I was younger, I used to always have a chuckle any time anyone ever said that. Like it was a personal joke, but the real I mean was Hooker Man. <laughs> I'm going to get some. Titanium white. Oh. <coughs> I'm actually using Joe Sonia's colours that I buy from Art and Soul Studio here in Harvey Bay. So I'm just going to add a little bit of the sap green. With white 
up in a moment, just a little bit. Just a little bit there. I'm just going to do just a couple of little highlights. And then we're going to get some more. It's very hard to pass through with this, just um, I'll have the reference picture up on my in my Pinterest. I have the link for that. Just follow that if you need to or do it if you want. So it's a more sap grey, just for a different colour there. Just blending in that with this green. And then we go over it a little bit with a mixture of sap green and cocos green. So it's lighter than what it's doing, but darker than the other. Except for the two. I just want this to be different. It's too dark, but I don't like it. Just mixing the sap green and what it's doing in there, just to lighten that a little bit. And then we'll have a little bit more hooker screen. Not quite that bad. It's just doing what you want. Just mixing the about 50 50 of the hooker screen and sap screen. Now I'm just getting them separately, just to blend it in. Still just going round and round and round and round. Just continue using the hooker's green, the sap green and the titanium white to scumble all the way down the whole canvas. Making sure when you do the hooker's green that you blend it in a little bit with the sap green and the same when you do the mixture of the sap green and titanium white, make sure you blend it in with the sap green. The sap green is really going to be your blending colour because the background is sap green. And just, yeah, just make sure you blend it all in otherwise it's just too harsh and too white there in your face. And just do this all the way down and try not to do complete straight lines because grass isn't straight and it's going to be blurry and yeah don't do straight don't do like patterns um patterns the same pattern the whole way through just just paint just feel it Apologies for the little bit of blurriness. I tried to have the zoom function on the camera for this so you could see better, but I realized after this one here that it, it was just a little bit too blurry. You could see better, but it was too blurry. So after this, I do sit down and um, I think it's better with me sitting down. I still have to work out the microphone issues. I might have to get one that, I don't know, sits on me or something. I don't know. I'm all new to this and I have no idea what I'm doing and I just want to paint and I've got to set up all this equipment and I just, I, I'm learning and I'm trying. Okay, here I've got some cobalt green and some more sap green and I've still got some titanium white left and this is my, well, it's covered in paint now, this is a, a dagger brush I believe doesn't have anything on it but see how it's really small and long 
You want to make sure you wet it so that it goes like that. And the grasses that we want to do right now are going to be about a third of the way up. Well, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to say third. So about a third of the way. We're just going to do what you do is you just make sure it's, you've got to make sure it's wet or wet enough. So if you add some water to that, it's got to be running like liquid paint, craft paint. Craft paint is work well. And we're going to start here. I'm just going to go. In whatever direction you want. The bunnies are going to be here, but you still want to have some grasses behind them. So we start with the cobalt, cobalt green grasses. Need some more water. See, it's it's runny, but it's not too runny. You have too much water, and it's not going to bind. Just do some small ones. Some of them will be hidden, and some of them will go into the background. When you're at the edge here, they say don't point anything going out that way because when people are looking at your painting, they're going to go off your painting. So when you're when you're here, you should have stuff going back in, if you know what I mean. And the same goes for this side, it should be going back in like that. Different sizes, different places, different colours, just going to do some cobalt green ones, some straight ones, some short ones. Thick ones, skinny ones, it's going to get into the sap green now, I didn't wash my brush. Right in the middle. If it starts getting dry, just get some more water and mix it in with the paint. We're going to go down here. I may paint over it, I may not, but at least it's here. If I want it here, you know what I mean? Because I'm going to add a little layer of um, white flowers down here. Just through scumbling, maybe. I don't know how to go about it. But you don't need to <coughs> you don't need to worry too much about the background here, it's just blurred. Which is perfect. So I'm just gonna do these and let them dry and then we will trace in the bunnies. I'm doing a mixture of, so I'm mixing the cobalt green with the sap green, just to get different colours. Just, yeah, doing whatever.
sit back and yeah, see if you like it. For these white flowers, I have to again. I have this brush here. I have this brush here. It is old and crappy and has been chewed away. It's all broken. You know, I never throw a paintbrush away because I love this one for doing flowers. <laughs> but yeah, it's an old one, so. <laughs> I was about to say hog's breath. <laughs> a hog, hog hair. So it's three, it's just a round brush that's fallen apart basically. I'm not adding, I'm not adding too many flowers at this stage. More white than anything else, but not too white. Um, that laughing is my five year old son. He is an avid uh, Clash of Clans player. <laughs> and obviously, something's taken his fancy. Now I'm going to put the bunnies here, so I'm not going to put, do any of the grasses here I any of the flowers here until I'm done. I just wanted to get some of these done so that there was some behind it, just in case you could see behind it, you know what I mean, you know what I'm trying to say. So I'll just get this part here done. Just Tap, 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 tap. That's all I'm doing. I don't want too much paint on here. Now, I'll, I'll, you can do it over here if you want. I'm going to do it over here now. And then I'll place the Easter egg. What is the Easter egg? over the top of the flowers. Now I wouldn't go any further down than about a third. Just because it's going to be blurry and darker down there. So I'm just going to go a little bit over here then. Just a couple of random ones. I'm running out of way. Okay, I have some burnt sienna and I'm just going to go over, I traced in the bunny but you can't see it, it's very hard to see it, I did it in lead pencil. Uh, trace the bunny in however you want, I'm just going to go over the burnt sienna just so that you can see it.
want to make it easier to see that than what I did then. I'm just going to do this off camera because I can't see because of the glare. Okay. There they are. I just had to, I couldn't see because the glare was just really bad in here. I apologize. Um, I traced them on however you trace them on and I just went over the outside with burnt sienna. And now I'm just going to go over the whole inside with burnt sienna just to get a background on there. So I'm going to use a filbert. I'm going to use a filbert, just some burnt sienna. Some burnt umber light and some titanium white, and I'm just going to go over the bunnies for the next coat. I'm just going to mix them together. Add a little bit of burnt sienna, burnt sienna in there, <coughs> burnt sienna. I just use the burnt umber light and the titanium white on the bunny's ears just so they're a little bit lighter than the body and when I'm finished painting his ears I'll go on to just the daddy bunny's body just using the burnt umber light with no titanium white it's just to make different shades of the chocolate really um, and don't forget when you are doing his body you go up and down for the arms. He's got a little bit of a leg there where you'll see me do a curved angle. See how I'm doing the face here, it's curved. Don't forget to leave a gap for the eye. Otherwise you might lose it. I mean, you don't have to, but I, I like to do it if it's something like this. And I'm just doing the dad bunny first because otherwise it just gets a little confusing having all of the big lump of brown, the same color because they're both the same color. So I decided to just stick with Dad Bunny, get him done, and then do Baby Bunny. So I'm still using the Burnt Umber Light, and I'm about to do his leg there. See how I'm doing it curved, because his leg is curved. And then I'll do his belly, and then we'll go on to the next step. Don't forget to continually check your reference photo or your, whatever photo you have there, your computer. I'm constantly looking back at my computer to check that I'm doing it right and that I've got things in the right position. And then always step back from your easel and check it out and see how it's going. I decided to go over his other ear in burnt umber light as well um, because the pink, the little pinkish ear that you see there is the inside of his ear and the other side of the ear is just the other side of the ear, it's not the inside, so it's the outside. So I'm just continuing with the burnt umber light, just going over the bunny, just making sure I get all the gaps in there and make sure he's completely covered and then he's looking, beginning to look like a nice yummy chocolate bunny. Just doing an outline of the burnt umber light around the outside edge of his uh, left ear, right ear, that the ear closest to me, <laughs> just doing that there to make the shadows so that the pink fades in, or the burnt umber light with titanium white fades into the ear, just going over his body again because we just want him to look really yummy and edible.
When you were painting his face, make sure you do it in a circular motion so that it appears rounded because his face is rounded. I'm about to get some Joe Sonia's carbon black paint just to do uh, this little bit that I'll show you in a second uh, where the baby bunny's arm is going over dad. There's a little gap underneath dad's chin and between baby bunny's arm. That will be a little bit darker and doesn't you don't really see much there, so it's going to be um, deep in shadow. Um, but to show you what bit I'm going to paint, that bit right there. And then you see my son in the reflection and he loves being a construction worker. <laughs> and he loves being out in the garage with me, so it's very hard to tell him not to be there. He's a good boy. And now here I am telling you what I've got. It's just a round brush, any old round brush, not too big, not too small. I think it was a size 4 and I'm just going to do that dark spot and I'm also going to do the semicircle of his closed eye. Sorry for standing in front of the camera there. I have my uh, reference photo behind me and it's just I need to fix my setup because I've got to keep reaching in front of the camera and I don't want to have to keep doing that. But there's the dark spot there that is going to be deep in shadow and I'll also do his eye and then we'll move on to the next bit. I am doing the semicircle of his eye now and then after that I'll also do, it's kind of like a diamond shape if you see the reference photo, it's got a bit of a diamond shape for a nose and I also put that on using the carbon black as well just to, just to get it in and see how I use my little pinky that will lift Finger? Little finger? I don't know. Little finger. Yeah, I watch Game of Thrones too. <laughs> that little finger, it helps balance what I'm doing and stops me getting all wobbly. If the paint is dry, I can't do that when I've got oil paint. I've got a mild stick for that, for oil paint. But for acrylics, it dries so quick, I just balance on my little finger there. And there's the nose being done. As you can tell here, I changed my mind and I got some titanium white with a little bit of burnt umber, a very tiny little bit. You want it white, but not too white. And I'm going over where I just did the black line for the eye. I, I do this all the time. I'll do something and I think, no, nah, that's I'm not, I can't do that right now. I need to change it. So I'm still learning to paint and I will never stop learning. And I just do what I do and I make mistakes and I try to fix them and make it better. I also do the eye here of the baby bunny. Getting some burnt sienna and my titanium white has run out. <laughs> Just mixing some burnt sienna and some titanium white just to go around. Yeah, it's, it's too white. <laughs> Go around the outside here. It goes all the way down there. And it goes there. It goes all the way up there. Now this side here, I'm going to do the burnt sienna and the white. I just messed that up there, I'm getting burnt up. Burnt 
wrong button. Just to fix it, get up there. This is burnt umber that I'm using here. Just getting the shades in, the colours and the shades of his ear. And then I'll do the creases. So going back to the burnt stuff. Burnt sienna and the white. Just this colour here. Spin over that again. Just going over that again. Make sure your direction of your paintbrush goes out this way, um, like horizontal. Um, more burnt sienna and white because there's this little bit of a highlight that goes along down here like that just getting a little bit more burnt sienna in that mix goes all the way down to his head goes through the dark bit. Just focusing on the ears right now. A very, very light bit here. Goes almost Now I'm going to get some burnt umber. I'm just going to draw some lines that indicate the cracks in the chocolate. Maybe a couple of dark bits here. Any more burnt umber. Still using the brown umber here. Oops. 
trying to try and to use that brush and not change, but I'm going to have to change change to this. I think it's a detailer five and five slash zero. Still using the burn number, just drawing on these lines. And a little bit of white with the burnt number. Just doing a couple of lines in here. Back to the then back to the burnt umber. That dollar of water it was about to it was about to drop. I'm just doing some more of these lines. They go all the way up and all the way to the edge. Now I might add a little bit of black to this burnt umber just to make this side a little bit darker. But I want it more burnt umber than black. Make, trying to make this ear a little curved. Back to the burnt umber and the black. Now I'm going to do some burnt umber and white. Just on either side of the lines you've done. Just adds shadow dip. Just to do the cracks and the, the lines that are around his ears and on his all over his whole body, I for the darkest shadows I do burnt umber and then I go around it with little bits of burnt umber mixed with white to make just just make the dark appear deeper than what it is to give it depth. That's the word I was looking for to give it depth. So I do that around his whole ears and basically his whole body just burnt umber and then go over it with burnt umber and mix with white and then I usually go back and put some more burnt umber back in there just to add the make in case I painted over it with the white but yeah that's all I'm doing here just 
to make the pinkish or the lighter, lighter bit of his ears I use burnt sienna and titanium white mixed together and it, burnt sienna is, is red, reddish brown so it kind of goes pink and I just fill in his whole ear here and then the next step will be getting the naphthal crimson and the titanium white just to do that little bit of pink on the inside of his ear that you'll see on the reference photo and you'll see where I do it. The next part of the inside of his ear is to get a little bit of burnt umber and just darken the little ridge there to make to give it depth. The whole thing is about giving it depth. So put the shadows in with the burnt umber and mark the along the ridge there. And then we're going to get to the naphtha crimson and titanium white. So I'm going to add some pink, so I'm going to add naphthal crimson and mix it with a little bit of white. Okay, I already did the naphthal crimson and titanium white pink mixture in his ear and also on the baby bunny's big ear which would be the inside of that ear. And now I'm just using, like I said before, the burnt umber just to do the cracks of the chocolate. If you look in the reference picture, you'll see the cracks. It's just, yeah. Follow the direction that the cracks go. Um, cover it, do the cracks and dots, and, and don't, don't follow any pattern or anything. Just try and be random. Do those in burnt umber and then go over them with the burnt umber and titanium white. Now I'm just going to put this in fast motion because you can't, you might, yeah, it's easy to do. I realised that I put the baby bunny's white eye in the wrong spot so I go over it with the um, mixture that I had on the baby bunny which is burnt sienna or burnt umber and titanium white so I go over it because I just it was in the wrong spot. Okay, so going on to the second coat on the baby bunny, I'm doing burnt umber and titanium white. And I'm just following his arm here because his arm goes almost down to his ear and it curves. And then I'll do his lower body and I'll go in a horizontal, vertical. <laughs> I'll do vertical lines. <laughs> Sorry, my brain doesn't work sometimes. I add a little bit more burnt umber than I do titanium white because it wasn't quite dark enough and I'm just going to go up and down here for the lower body of him and then I'm going to go up and do his face and his ears.
While I'm painting in the second coat of him, I use just burnt umber with a teeny tiny little bit of black just to draw in the creases of his legs and his arms and his ears there just so I know where they are. We are starting on the baby bunny. I had to go out and get my my pigs. <laughs> I had to go out and get my kids. So my paint is all dried up. So just give me a second to get my burnt umber and my titanium white, which are the main ones I'm going to be using. And no water actually no I'm going to use gloss glazing liquid I just got really angry not angry irritated because I come home and to picking the kids up that's fine all well and good I have a chicken that I bought pre-cooked there's a fly the freaking bag with the chicken having a good old lick so now I'm guessing that's the dog's chicken because I'm not gonna eat it my kids aren't gonna eat it just gross disgusting little vermin they are just using burnt umber again Just going in the direction that his fur would be going if he had fur, but it doesn't have fur because he's a yummy chocolate. Could be a vegan chocolate. Don't know. Never had one. Was that carob? Is it or is that vegetarian? I don't know. Anyway, I just want to get these chocolate bits done on the bunny so that I can do some more final, some more touches and goobies and whatsies just highlighting his leg there my water is dirty I should change it but laziness prevents me So you want to do an outline of his ear with burnt umber. Down here the strokes get bigger. So hot. So I did that ear a little bit too dark. So I'm gonna grab Too much water on my paintbrush. And hey, just for poops and giggles, there's another fly in here. I love flies. Oh, okay. there you go. That's where the uh, that's why the brown wasn't mixing with the white. <laughs> I thought I just had too much water. I was mixing the brown with the glazing liquid and that's why it wouldn't 
that's too right. And that's why it wouldn't mix. Ah. Oh. I'm just having one of those weeks. And I'm one of those years. Doesn't need to be perfect, just kind of. Here too. And I might do it on his paw. No, it's probably too light. <laughs> this bit here is anyway. If it's too light, just put a little bit of burn umber on your uh, paintbrush and go over it. Okay. Now back to the burnt umber and the little chocolate creases that taste so yummy. This is baby bunny's arm. Just keep painting the burnt umber as the dark spots and then burnt umber and titanium white to go around all those dark spots just to make the crackle of the chocolate from along the whole of the baby bunny. A little bit of titanium white mixed with a little bit of burnt umber just to make uh, the baby bunny's eye. Now there was something irritating me about the baby bunny and I figured out it, his head wasn't quite big enough so I got some burnt umber in my detailer brush and just made it a little bit bigger. And then I go through and do uh, some of the dark spots and I also outline the daddy bunny and the baby bunny with black. Just drawing in the creases and the highlights with the burnt umber and burnt umber and titanium white over the new extension head that I just did. Because their colours are so close and they are so close together, I decided to uh, go around the outside with black, just so you can see where one bunny ends and the other one starts. So I do this around the whole bunnies. Just going over still with the black, all the dark spots and also draw in the eye for the baby bunny and go over the eye and the nose and the, the nose separation bit on daddy bunny.
Nyt. Mäkin tuparin. Just gonna make this look bigger. I've done that. I've got to put these lines back in. This is burnt umber. And I'm doing the lines curved because this is the baby bunny's leg. I'm getting into the uh, uh, the burnt umber with the white. For the little root bits. This is just going to be the same as the other bits and then I will come back and do some, go back over some of the dark spots because I'm losing them. I mainly put them there in the beginning just to get an idea of where I want to put the white and then because I'm trying to get this done quicker. Ah. Where's your eye paint coming from? Yeah, because I'm trying to get this done quicker. It's um, I go over it. So if you're going slow and methodical, then you won't need to go over it twice. Well, you might. Never know. I'm sure my kids are about to kill each other. No officer, I had no idea. I was in the garage, I couldn't hear them. <laughs> Trust me, if it gets bad enough, I'll come in here. All of them. It's just right now they're hungry, so they want to stay out there and eat. Sorry, I just noticed that um, I lost some white over here. I must have gone over it. Now, I, I'll, I'll be honest, I am sitting down because before when I was standing up, I just, uh, I don't know, uh, I just got really sad. And I started to just want to cry. So I decided to sit down and try and paint because I haven't painted in a while. I've been, like I said, I've been busy. So. So 
still just the burnt umber and the white. Okay, I'm going to go through and do some uh, more of the dark spots again because I lost a few. This is just burnt umber again. He has a couple of little brown spots.
Okay, now I'm gonna get some what? Um, I don't know if you can see that. Just drawing in an egg. I'm just doing them in titanium white now just so that I can see where they are and so that um, well, any colour that I put on top of it should be good. So if I want to paint them yellow, we should see the yellow. But if I just did yellow over the green, um, you wouldn't see it. You would after about 10 coats. It's flat because grass is going to be going over it. Yeah. Now speaking of yellow, I might do yellow. <laughs> I'm going to do the other one red. Any old red. Oh, do them whatever colour you want. I really should have cleaned my water. But you know, when you're at the uh, almost at the end, then you just couldn't be bothered getting up and cleaning your water. I'm trying to get the camera as close as I can, but it's hard because the tripod gets in the way. <sighs> we might have an orange egg. those dry. Yeah. Do another red one. I'm not doing anything fancy with the eggs, just gonna maybe do some silver on it or some gold trim or not sure. Now Looking for that dagger stripe brush, but I put it somewhere. 
So I have my other one, which I've wet, and let's cook it. And I want my sap green. But it appears to have gone walkabout. Got my dagger stripper brush, I've wet it. And it's set green. And I'm just gonna put some grass in front of them. Some more down here. I'm doing this on an angle. I'm not going to put it in front of the eggs just yet. I'm getting the cobalt green again. Still got the dagger brush. Getting, got some water. I'm just going to do some darker ones. Just getting a little bit of white and sap green just to make a couple of little highlighty ones. And I might put a couple of flowers in front of them. And that was just with white and with a really cruddy brush. So they have a couple around them. And right under them, I'm just going to do a little bit of the same brush, this brush here, with the cobalt. Just, no, I'm not going to use the cobalt, I'm going to use the hookers. Going back to the hooker if we can find her. It. I'm sorry. You know you're really pushing the boundaries of the paint and you've got to squeeze that the way I just did. Oh. 
Why is it green? No. Because I just used green. Okay, so we're just going to do. I know we just put that white there, but I just I forgot about the shadow. The shadow would be there because they exist and existence means shadows. Okay, long brush. Just got this big long stripey dagger one again. Just putting a couple more strands of grass just over the top of those shadows. Not many because I want those shadows to be there. I think they're looking pretty good. Another coat of yellow. Now, I did bring over silver. Yep, I've got some silver, just silver. Actually, I'm going to do oh, brown. Damn it. That's a black. I'm going to mix a little bit of red and black together, just and then blend it in with the red you used on the egg. Just to create uh, shadows and yeah, depth. I'm gonna go. With the yellow, I'm gonna add a little bit of brown to it because the black will just kill it.
And I'm going to get some tag. Whoops. Titanium wet. Titanium white and yellow for the top. And then just the yellow in the middle. Real bright. How's that? And I should use that is way too wide. Now a little bit of focus green under these guys because they've got shadows too. rich copper she looks pretty she looks pretty Where's it dipped? you know I tried my hardest not to do that straight line down the bottom but I did This is just silver. That's right. Ooh. Ewing at the mess, dirtiness of my water. Some yellow dots. Just a couple.
The more curved you make this, the more eggy it looks. And sap green or cobalt or whatever, doing some more grasses just over your eggs. Remember, you want to try and keep your grasses going that way on this side. Now I'm just getting a darker green. And a little bit of white with your green. Just for a couple of little ones that really pop. Oops. And a couple of little white flowers and then we're done. Not too many white flowers. I'm gonna do And I'm going to sign my name now. Oh. I like to use uh, the liquid ones. The, I have golden high flow acrylics. the wrong brush for this. <laughs> and there we go. I've made a mess absolutely everywhere. I hate mess. There is our bunnies. 
There's our eggs. There it is. Nice and straight. <laughs> there it is. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I did and I didn't. <laughs> I began to near the end. So, yeah.